She has to point it out every time. Right this way, Mrs. Embry. I lead her to the romance section. I was talking to my online book club, and they recommended... She glances around the store as if we're being watched, and then leans in and lowers her voice. Something called M.M. Romance. I purse my lips to stop from smiling. We, uh, do have those books, but, um, do you know what M.M. means? When I started working here, I had no clue. She whispers, it's about the gays. Do not laugh, Rain. Do not laugh. It's hard because her tone is so serious. We keep those books over here. We move toward the gay romance section, and her little face lights up. Ooh, what's better than one shirtless man on a cover but two? A chuckle finally escapes. She reaches for a book, and my cheeks heat. That one is kind of... advanced. Oh, you've read it? I read all the books that come through the store. That's a lie. I haven't read every single book, but I make it a point to read this genre. Both of my bosses are queer, and I work in queer spaces. I figured reading gay romance might give me insight into the LGBTQ community, seeing as I knew next to nothing when I started here. I was worried about saying something homophobic out of ignorance. I'd never do it intentionally. Anyone can love anyone they want. But I'll admit to not being so aware when it comes to everything rainbow. The books were definitely eye-opening. I'll leave it at that. Mrs. Embry flips through the book, pausing to read a few paragraphs. What's a boy button? Loud laughter comes from behind me, but when I turn to glare at my boss, it's hard not to laugh with him. He's trying to contain it, which only makes his face look strained, and his cheeks turn pink. He waves his hand and abandons his spot where he's putting the new stock out on shelves, no doubt retreating to the back room to compose himself. Uh, I have no idea what to tell Mrs. Embry. Whatever it is, this man sure likes it being pegged. I'm sold. She hands me the book to ring it up at the cash register, and it takes a second for me to process what just happened. Are you sure you want this one? This is good. All right. Can't argue with a sure woman. I've definitely learned that through my dating life. My sad, pretty pathetic dating life, really. As I'm making the transaction at the counter, a young guy steps into the store, probably a college student. He takes off his beanie and shakes out his light brown hair. I give Mrs. Embry her book and a smile before making my way over to the new customer. Hi, can I help you find anything in particular? His gaze meets mine and I can't help noticing the different shades of hazel in each eye. One is a honey brown color, and the other is a mixture of green and brown hues. I try not to stare, because I'm sure he gets questions all the time, like if he was born that way or got pushed into a vat of radioactive waste. I hope you can help me. The library doesn't have any in, and I've been looking online, but it won't get here in time. And I'm really hoping you have one in stock, and I realize this is probably the longest sentence in history, so I'll stop talking now. I grin. I might need the name of the book before you stop talking completely. Oh, right. That would help. Uh, it's Fundamentals of Agricultural Economics. Sounds like a fun class. Either he doesn't pick up on my dry tone or he ignores it. It is. In a constantly changing climate, sustainability in the farming sector is more unpredictable than ever before. Coming up with innovative ways to use natural resources... And I just realized you were being sarcastic. Sorry.